today, together with, together with ASUS, uh, we're announcing uh, the new Nexus 7, and um, here it is. Well, um, we're staying focused on exactly the same things that made the original Nexus 7 so successful. Portability, performance, and of course, uh, the power of Google. So first of all, we designed the new Nexus 7 to be even more portable and even more comfortable than the original model. It's super slim. It's almost two millimeters thinner than the original Nexus 7. We kept the same display size. Uh, but reduced the side bezels by almost three millimeters on each side. So the device is now close to six millimeters narrower. It's also 50 grams lighter. And you're gonna notice these improvements right away the first time you pick up one of these devices. It actually makes a huge difference when you're holding it with one hand. It's a much more comfortable grip. And of course, it fits easily into your purse uh, or your jacket pocket. Now, in building this device, we really focused on simplifying to core elements. We decided for pure black on black design with the soft touch that everyone loved in the original Nexus 7. We added a few glossy finishes as subtle detail. Um, it looks really amazing uh, and it just feels great in your hand. Uh, now, um, when you're using a tablet um, to read a magazine, to watch a movie, um, or play a game, uh, or even if you just want to do email, uh, having a crisp and bright display makes all the difference. And that's exactly where the new Nexus 7 really shines. Um, the new Nexus 7 has the same 7-inch display size, but packing in a lot more pixels. We're going from 1280 by 800 in the original Nexus 7 to true 1080p HD at 920, uh, 1920 by 1200 pixels in the new model. That makes the Nexus 7 the world's highest resolution 7-inch tablet. We've gone from 216 pixels per inch, which was great in the original Nexus 7, to 323 pixels per inch uh, in the new model. That's the highest PPI of any tablet uh, in the market. Uh, text and images uh, look even sharper than the highest quality print magazine uh, on the new Nexus 7. And of course, you can watch movies and YouTube videos in native 1080p HD resolution, which is completely unprecedented for a seven inch tablet. Of course, there's more to a great tablet than just the number of pixels. Uh, the new Nexus 7 represents uh, pictures and videos more accurately and more vividly uh, because it can now show 30%, a 30% wider um, range of colors. Um, having a display that allows you to watch movies in 1080p is excellent. But to that, we've added dual stereo speakers so you can finally hear your movie or your game soundtrack in stereo. And we've also worked with Fraunhofer, the people who invented MP3 compression, as some of you might know, um, to integrate their latest virtual surround sound technology into the new Nexus 7. It immerses you in the soundtrack. It's like a 5.1 sound system, but just using the device speakers or any pair of headphones. You'll be able to watch your favorite movies from Google Play in virtual surround sound, and it's awesome. Now, of course, there's no way to show this here on stage, so uh, you'll have to experience it, your, it for yourself um, upstairs in the demo lounge after the event. All right, uh, the new Nexus 7 also features front and rear facing cameras. Uh, front facing camera, uh, 1.2 megapixels for video calling and hangouts, and we've also added a five megapixel rear camera for photos and 1080p video. Um, let's talk about performance. Uh, the new Nexus 7 ships with a quad core 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset. It packs a CPU that's 80% faster and a GPU that delivers four times the graphics frame rate compared to the original Nexus 7. This is, of course, particularly great news for gamers which we're gonna come back to in just a bit. Uh, we've also doubled the system memory to two gigabytes, which means you can have more apps in RAM, and of course, app switching is much faster. You get all the networking options, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and we're shipping a 4G LTE version of the new Nexus 7. It's unlocked 
And in the US, you'll be able to get LTE data from AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, all from the same device. It's a single US model. You get HDMI output via slim port, NFC, and wireless charging, which works as you'd expect with any Qi compatible charger. Um, finally, let's talk about battery. Uh, even with more than twice the number of pixels and almost double the CPU performance, CPU performance, you get one extra hour of power compared to the original Nexus 7, uh, up to nine hours of HD video playback, and up to 10 hours of web browsing and e-reading. So that's the hardware. It's pretty amazing. Um, and now I want to talk about software. The new Nexus 7 is the first device shipping with Android 4.3, which is the newest version of Jelly Bean that we're announcing today. Um, and I'd like to show you a couple of new features in Android 4.3. So first off, uh, tablets are lightweight and portable devices that are perfect for sharing around the house. Um, in Android 4.2, we added multi-user support uh, so that each person, each person sharing the device can have their separate individual space and they can customize their tablet experience. Now, those individual spaces are really handy, but sometimes you want to control what each person can actually do in their space. So in Android 4.3, we're adding <clears throat> Excuse me, we're adding, we're taking one step further and we're adding restricted profiles. With restricted profiles, you can control access to content and apps at a user level. So, for example, parents can have peace of mind about which family members can access what content and which apps. So, what you're looking at here is my Nexus 7, which I share with Jay Jr. over here. Uh, we each have our own separate spaces configured, and I've set up a restricted profile for Jay Jr. on this tablet. Now, I've just, I've just downloaded this app uh, that you're looking at here. Uh, it's called Beauty and the Beast. It's a really cool interactive storybook and puzzle game um, for, for Jay, to play, Jay Jr. to play with. It looks great on the Nexus 7, by the way. Um, why don't we check out the Jigsaw puzzles? So. Each puzzle in here, as you can probably tell, is an in-app purchase. And for now, I'm only giving Jay Jr. the first three to play with. It's probably a good start, and it'll definitely keep him busy. Now, before we give Jay Jr. the tablet, let's switch over to his profile. So this is Jay Jr.'s space, which he has customized. Um, he's got a picture of his sister, and that's actually him, I believe. On his uh, wallpaper, he's put a few app icons on his home screen. It looks cool. Uh, let's take a look at the apps. So these are the apps that I've given Jay Jr. access to in his restricted profile, including um, Star Chart, um, Shake a Phrase, and of course, um, Beauty and the Beast. So let's take a look at that. Uh, Android 4.3 allows an app to behave differently when it's running in a restricted profile. Uh, let me show you that now. Uh, let's check out the jigsaw puzzles again. So uh, Jay Jr. can see the three levels that I got him, but not any of the other levels that I haven't yet um, purchased for him. That's because the app hides all the purchasing functionality and only exposes to a restricted profile content that's already been bought. Uh, these puzzles are really easy for school kids, but impossibly hard for a Googler. Um, pretty typical. We're going to move on. All right. Uh, in addition to parental controls, uh, restricted profiles are super useful for a number of other usage scenarios where you need to limit access in some way. Um, for example, retail kiosks or point of sale systems. All of that and certainly a lot more is now possible with Android 4.3. In Android 4.3, we're adding support um, for Bluetooth smart technology, which is also known as Bluetooth low energy. This enables you to pair your Android phone or tablet with low power devices like fitness sensor. In fact, uh, Jay here is wearing a heart rate monitor under his shirt. Uh, it's made by Runtastic, who also make a great fitness app for Android. Um, and here you can see Jay's heart rate live, 136 BPM. Looks like he's feeling not quite as relaxed uh, right now. <laughs> but uh, Jay, why don't you get moving? Okay, right, right. 
can't have you collapsing before the end of the demo. 158. Wow. Okay. Um, so in Android 4.3, we're upgrading our OpenGL support to OpenGL ES 3.0, which is the latest industry standard for accelerated 3D graphics. And in fact, Android is the first platform um, to support this new standard. This is a big deal for game developers in particular, and it really raises the bar for photorealistic 3D graphics. Uh, let me show you two really cool demos. Uh, the first one is a simulation that's made by Japanese developer Silicon Studios. It's a slow motion scene on top of a shiny marble table in the middle of a cathedral. Um, OpenGL ES3 uses 32 bits of data per color for every pixel during the computation process. And that's exactly what creates a new level of photorealism that's really remarkable. You know, for example, you can see incredibly high quality reflection here, not only on the table, but also on the metal rings and the stones. Um, also note, if you go up a little bit, uh, Jay, the stunning bloom lighting effect in the back of the cathedral. Um, it's really great. Okay. The next demo is called The Chase, and it's made by Unity. It's a futuristic car chase scene that really shows off the kind of jaw-dropping visuals that are made possible with OpenGL ES3. So we're going to slow down the scene here so you can see all the details. Um, I want you to first pay attention, uh, when you see the character, to the self-shadow effect um, that you're going to see on the character's face. Uh, so what you're seeing here is, complex, is a complex 3D object actually casting a shadow on itself. And that's obviously his face, which makes for incredible and unprecedented photorealism um, on a game, for example. Um, OpenGL ES3 uses a new texture compression format that also makes possible to have much more detailed uh, textured surfaces and objects. So I want you to note the detail that you see in the character's faces, for example. You can see the stubble and every amazing part of skin texture and detail. Uh, it's really terrific. Another cool feature of OpenGL ES3 is the ability to render an amorphic lens flare. Uh, these are the J.J. Abrams style horizontal lens flare that you can see here. Whether you love or hate J.J. Abrams movies, uh, you can also see the reflections that are caused by you know, the, the dirty camera lens, if you will, which is being simulated here by the developer. Um, by the way, everything that you see here is rendered in real time in native 1080p resolution. Uh, OpenGL ES3 really takes advantage of the amazing Nexus 7 high resolution display. Uh, both of these demos will be available in the Play Store. And uh, you're going to see more uh, about OpenGL here today. Okay. Uh, watching movies in 1080p resolution on a tablet is obviously amazing. But actually, most of the premium content that you get on tablets today is in standard definition. And that's usually related to content protection limitations that exist on HD content. So in Android 4.3, um, to help address this, we're introducing a new set of DRM APIs that enable hardware-based encryption and content protection in a standardized way. We're really thrilled to announce today that one of the first Android partners to take advantage of this new capability is Netflix. We've worked with Netflix very closely on a new version of their app uh, that uses uh, Android 4.3 and supports streaming in 1080p HD quality. This new app is available uh, in Play Store since Monday. Nexus 7 is the first tablet to support it and give, give you Netflix 1080p content uh, streaming, uh, and uh, many more devices are coming soon. Uh, there are many more important features and APIs that uh, we're announcing with Android 4.3. Um, you can find a complete list of them uh, on android.com as usual. So Android 4.3 ships on the new Nexus 7. And uh, as I said earlier, and we're also pushing an update starting today to the original Nexus 7, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 10, and Galaxy Nexus. Uh, the Google Play Edition device is the HTC One, and the Galaxy S4 will also receive an Android 4.3 update very soon. So that's a quick overview of Android 4.3. Like I said, uh, the new Nexus 7 is the first device that ships with it. All right, now um, I want to take you on a quick tour of some of the latest Google apps uh, so that you can see how great they look and work on the new Nexus 7. Uh, these apps really take advantage of the super high resolution display in particular, and I'm going to point that out as we go. Uh, let's take a look. 
So first off, this is Google Drive. Uh, we've added a new tile layout with previewed thumbnails, which looks great uh, on this display. You can even read my shopping list down here on the right without actually opening the document. Uh, we've also just added a new nav drawer uh, with shortcuts to docs that people have shared with me or that I've recently opened, for example. Um, spreadsheets in particular will great on the Nexus 7. You can edit online. Uh, you can view offline since your docs, of course, are automatically synced between your device and Google. Makes Nexus 7 a really great tablet um, for productivity on the go. OK, let's check out the latest version of Chrome. Uh, browsing the web on Chrome on the new Nexus 7 is an amazing experience. With 323 pixels per inch, you can browse any desktop site without ever having to zoom in, because you're looking at print quality text here. Uh, also, um, Chrome now goes into full screen mode, as you just saw here when you scroll down. And that gives you 15% more screen space for your content. Another cool feature that we've just added to Chrome and Android is translation. So if you visit a website uh, in a different language, for example, uh, Folha from Brazil, which is a new site in Portuguese, um, you see this bar on the top right here. You can just tap on translate, and that takes care of it. In a few seconds, you'll see this translated into English. Um, and of course, any other page that you click on on this side from here will also uh, be translated, just like how it works uh, on Chrome for desktop. All right, let's talk about Google Maps. Uh, we recently launched a, an updated version of um, Google Maps for Android tablets. Uh, the new full screen layout lets you dive into maps, uh, and it looks really stunning at this uh, super high resolution. Uh, one of my favorite new features is called Explore. It's a fast and easy way to browse and discover good places without even having to type. Uh, you can you know, find places to eat, drink, and so on. Uh, when you click on one of these titles, let's say Eat, um, you're going to see top rated places in several different categories. Um, what do you want to check out, Jay? Um, I want to try Salomeria. All right. So uh, you've got this awesome new layout, which will show you, um, you know, ratings, including the GAT ratings, if they're available, uh, snippets, opening hours, uh, and so on. For a lot of the business, you can also click to see inside. You get street view. Uh, it's a really terrific experience, and it looks amazing uh, at uh, 1080p native resolution. Um, so that's Google Maps on Nexus 7. Uh, another Google app that the Nexus 7 is really perfect for is Hangouts. Uh, group video calls on Hangouts are really awesome. And one of my favorite features, which I want to make sure that you see, is screen sharing. So it looks like Jay is joining a call with some of his friends here. I think they're planning a summer trip of some sort. Jay? Yeah. Totally. So, so everyone's in video right, right so now. Like Why don't we listen in for a second? Here what we're going to bring. So let's talk about my favorite topic, which is food, and what we're going to eat on this trip. All right, awesome. All right, so here's what I had put together. Obviously, um, burgers, mm. corn on the cob. What did I leave off? Yeah, what about uh, here? What about what about lobster burgers? Let's do that. Well, yeah, we're going to Maine, so that makes sense. Okay. That's good. I, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can finish that later. I personally would pass on the lobster burgers. Uh, really nice edits. But what I really want you to, to, to think about here is look how amazing this experience is. You're actually watching someone edit a document in real time, and you're watching it on a tablet. Right? It's great. Um, why don't we move on? All right. So um, we've looked. Um, uh, we're going to go back to slides now. Uh, we've looked at the new Nexus 7 with Android 4.3. We've also checked out how the latest Google apps look like on this great new device. Now, there's a whole universe of amazing content out there in Google Play. And it really defines owning and using a Nexus 7 tablet. To tell you about this world of great content. Uh, please welcome on stage Google Play product manager, Ellie Powers. <laughs> 